I'm answering questions that absolutely nobody asked by sharing stories that will depict my poor decision making. Such as, who am I? Why am I making content? Why should you care? How did I get this glorious mustache? And what are the plans for the future? And this will make me relatable. I'm new in town, fresh out of a job or two, full of anxiety, a touch of depression, and most importantly, bad ideas. Business ideas, you guys. Business. Mostly. Eventually, my gremlin brain decides that opening a film lab to be run out of my apartment in a town where I know next to no one is the best of the bad ideas. I don't know. The best I got is hyperfocus mixed with a little bit of impulsivity. It'll get you. And let's name it after my dog Jane and Photomats, which were niche one-hour photo labs that no longer exist. Surely that won't be confusing, right? Oh, and did I mention there's already a competing film lab in town? Surely this isn't a one-horse town, I say to myself. Right? Right? I messed up three rolls first thing. Two customer, one personal. Be careful with bleach, kids. And I spent most of my time anxiously waiting for people to email me or trying to make TikToks and Instagram reels. Because that's what business is nowadays. It's vertical content. I had a customer here and there, but nothing really significant. And one day, I get a bunch of rolls, and, well, you remember how I started? Surely, surely I won't do that again, right? Right? And then I messed up a bunch of color rolls. Obviously. I didn't know where that was going. Like three or four, if I recall correctly. And then I very quickly realized, or learned from the customer, that they were from her bachelorette and part of her wedding. No, no, I didn't see them, obviously. Obviously, you sold everything you could, got a job and regrouped? Well, no, not really. No, I didn't. I says to myself, Dill, you know how to make films. You have the cameras, you have the lab, you have three useless art diplomas you could put to use. Admit that I fucked up and impulsively opened the film lab not knowing what I was doing? Blasphemy. I shall move the goalpost and become a content creator. <laughs> Look at me running from reality. Funny enough, the first iteration of the channel wasn't even directly about photography. I wanted to sell all my stuff, buy an old Volvo station wagon, put some time into it, and then eventually drive it across Canada and back with my dog, taking photos and making videos. Look at me running from reality and responsibility. It was bad. It was really, really, really bad. Any of you watch that video, love you, because that was that's true love. I'm telling you. A few months after that, I decided that I was going to start making film photography content. There was two iterations of POV style photography, basically just walking my dog and taking photos. Uh, walking Jane and no more pretty photos. Very original, Dylan. They were also not good. Editing and sound was all over the place. Pretty quickly, I got sick of walking around with two cameras and a crazy dog. Also, it gets very cold and dry here in Alberta, and it's just... It wasn't for me. I didn't enjoy it. They were also very boring. Painfully boring. And then enter film reviews. And honestly, I had no plan. Zero plan. The idea was to stand awkwardly in front of the camera, do three takes of every section, and uh, hope for the best. You've been watching. That made a whole lot of sense to you. <laughs> At this point, I was also pretty desperate to hit the algorithm and really get this channel to take off. Forcing myself to get these videos out like every other day for a while really forced me to get comfortable on camera and allow me to focus on the cinematography of things. It also improved my photography a lot, just forcing yourself to shoot that much all the time just makes you better, you know? It's like anything creative related, really. You gotta do a whole lot of bad to get to something maybe kind of okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It forced me to take a lot of bad photos, and quite honestly, I'm a better photographer because of it. So, that's cool. I don't really care for hindsight, but looking back, I definitely needed that, you know? I'm a lot more comfortable on camera. Help with the old confidence just in general, like in general, everywhere. Um, and it made me a lot more comfortable in my own skin, which is also just been very, very good for me. So, uh, go me. I'm gonna continue with weekly film reviews until I don't want to anymore. That's the current plan. I will continue with the shorter is better, as long as I need to be type of style. I really enjoy that. I don't like the. You know, I just, I like to the point, fast pace, let's go. But I will try to lengthen some of them by comparing two or more film stocks or doing like a, a 
the same same but different type of review. You'll see. I would also like to get back to my focus up series. Um, I have two of those out. We've seen them. Thank you. I really wanted to get those out weekly and I put a lot of pressure on myself and they really just got lost in that. I also want to revisit old ideas, sort of remake them with a lot more patience and understanding and just willingness, I think. I was, as I've said previously, I was really anxiously making videos and kind of reluctantly making videos and um, yeah, I think I would like to get back to some of those and really execute them. Who knows? Uh, I'm not going to say what because who knows when, you know what I mean? Sorry, I know that's really bad, but I'd rather do it and show it than say it and disappear into this. Did I answer everything? Were you listening? This is a test. Who am I? Okay, but for real, I really wanted to make something personal, I guess sort of vulnerable, relatable, or whatever. Hopefully my silly, self-deprecating stories help you guys understand who I am, where I'm coming from, why I'm doing this. I talked a lot about myself. Actually, I only talked about myself this entire video. But if you learn anything or take anything away from this, I hope it's that you just just keep trying. Try, try, try. Adjust, try again. Don't be afraid of failure. Honestly, I haven't mentioned it in this video, but the single greatest thing I've learned in the past year from making content is that literally no one cares what you're doing. I appreciate you all very much. So, so much. I would really appreciate it if you could, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and maybe check out my Ko-Fi, link in the description. It's like Patreon, but not like Patreon, you can do one-off. Yeah. Thanks, love you, bye.